Hello lovelies, are you a member of my Old World Design Society yet? Now is the time. Check the link in this video description to receive the winter edition and the brand new beautiful spring edition at a great combo price. You'll receive a quarterly magazine, live design classes with me, a private online forum, and also as a society member, of course, you will find new friends who love design, gardening, and antiques as much as you do because you are not alone in your love for beauty and times gone by. Okay, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta calm down a little bit because I'm on my way to the lumber yard to see if I can salvage a situation. Here's what's going on. Um, but before all of that, hello lovelies, welcome to the channel. I'm Parisian Farm Girl, so glad you're here. Um, we're in the middle of three bathrooms. I know you've seen that here, you've seen it on Instagram. I'm trying to wrap them up. This weather is for the birds, but I know it's, it's gonna go away. I know it's gonna happen. The snow is going to melt. And then I'm just gonna be outside. Like I will be outside until the snow flies again. So I'm pretty desperate to finish these bathrooms. Joel is super busy working on the cottage. We're trying to get that rental cottage open for this season. So I'm trying to take the bull by the horns where I can around the house and get things done to help out. So I thought I would be really cool since I don't know how to work a saw yet. I thought I'd be really cool. And I would go to the lumber yard and I'd buy myself a little miter box and I would get this baseboard done in the downstairs bathroom. First, before I did that, I had this brilliant, absolutely brilliant idea that the first time I lay tile, I'm going to lay herringbone tile. So that was fun. <laughs> I did my best. It looks pretty good. Anything is better than what it was. So. If you go back to the beginning of the, you know, the sort of everyday chateau portion of this channel, because I had this channel for, I don't know, maybe a year or something before we moved to this house. But when we moved here, I thought it would be really fun, even just for our family's sake, to, to chronicle this journey of taking this 1980s eco house and like deconstructing it and kind of dialing back the clock. You know, you always hear me say that. I'm dialing back the clock to turn this into an old farmhouse with a very, you know, very heavy on the French European influence. So anyways, this bathroom um, is one of the first things we started with because my philosophy in a really bad situation is neutralize the ugly. And this bathroom was ugly. It had uh, moth wallpaper, cattail, moth wallpaper, moth carpeting, cattail wallpaper, uh, just your like very typical um, Home Depot special vanity. And so it's one of the first things we, we ripped all of that out. And I have a little inventory of doors and sinks and windows and what have you. And I had this cute, cute corner marble piece for a sink, like an undermount sink. So I shopped for the perfect brass bucket. And that's one of the first videos we did on this channel that I was really proud of where we made this really cute corner sink. And I painted the walls with a uh, color uh, called Trophy by Miss Mustard Seed. But um, we always have like 400 projects going on around here. And so a lot of stuff like after the neutralization of the ugly, everything sort of comes to a screeching halt and we move on to the next plate to spin. And that's what happened in this, in this downstairs bathroom. So I never put a top coat on the walls. They started peeling. The plywood floor never got covered. Uh, it's just a whole lot of undone so that's what I'm really trying to wrap up a lot of details before this gardening season so I laid the herringbone I thought I'd be cool I went and got the miter box what I didn't realize um, is that duh the baseboard is too tall for a miter box I was going to have to use a saw that meant I was going to need Joel's help which really bummed me out I just wanted to do it and surprise him um, but we have this sort of like contention when we do projects. You've seen we do projects really well together. We work really well together, but when it comes to carpentry, not so much. Wow. Um, we have two different ideas. So 
his idea is like just use the same old crappy stuff over and over again and my idea is get the equipment you need to do the job right both have their own valid arguments but his saw was annihilating the baseboard and I about lost it <laughs> like I did all this work to cut these miters on the little base shoe and I measured everything and I'm so proud now your saw is destroying my baseboard so that's why I'm here in the truck on this beautiful day I'm headed to the lumber yard I'm going to rent a saw try to salvage this situation so we can get this bathroom done, move on to the other two bathrooms that we're working on, keep working on the cottage, and finally, once everything melts, get back outside. So that's why you're here today. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what we've been working on and hopefully um, everything will pan out. I'll get inside, get changed when I get back, dive back into this project and see if we can't get some baseboard installed. You could use this as your flat end. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. Pieces. Two pieces? Or three pieces. Three? Because you're going to have to have the one that comes to the left side of the toilet, uh -huh. one that comes to the right side, and then the part that I have to cut notch way out to get under that toilet. Okay. And it's no breeze because you can't slide it underneath it. You have to kind of, kind of go up and under like this. It's gonna be crazy. The toilet, it's, it's not even um, straight across the bottom. The porcelain's like warbly, oh. and it smells delicious down here. Okay, I think. How far do you think it? If you notch this out, I don't think it's gonna go that far. I think you should just maybe cut it here. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. Mom's got a proof. Oh, I got two. Two proofs. Oh, fabulous. Thank you, Badis. Oh, great. Ooh, they've never sent two proofs before. Okay, I'm gonna look at that while you cut this piece of wood. Oh my goodness, I was shaking with nervousness and excitement. You know, you have this magazine in your mind every quarter and then you get it to the computer and then you get to hold it in your hands and you're hoping it's going to be as incredible as you hoped it would be. I did learn how to run this saw, finally. And it made me feel really great to add an extra skill. We knocked this project out. We fitted that baseboard under that floating toilet like a boss. The only problem is we got all the cuts done and had all these little pieces of wood everywhere. I had them all labeled, I had penciled on each one, but somehow I managed to swap two pieces and it was really cold that day, which is why I'm stomping around in that big, cozy, warm sweater. And we made a fire and of course I grabbed the accurate measurement for one of the pieces of wood and I burned it. So we returned the rented saw, uh, of course, before I realized what I had done. And so, of course, this project is not totally complete yet. As great as it came out, there is still one little corner. If you look closely when I'm propping up these pieces of wood, you'll see it doesn't quite fit. Alas, it's another plate that still needs to be spun, but that's okay. I know it will happen. Forward motion is everything. I made up a new batch of Miss Mustard Seed paint. The color is Trophy. I get asked that all the time. And the next day I just stayed in my pajamas and I painted everything. 
It was really sweet. When the kids see mama doing something creative and artistic, of course, they want to participate. So they got out their watercolors and their paintbrushes. Two of them are working on a rather elaborate paint by number masterpiece. And we had a cozy afternoon making even more progress. Still, I'm going to have a small marble backsplash made for behind the sink. There is a waterproof coat on top of that skip trawl plaster now. I need to order trim for around that door, give the door a second coat, fix that last little piece of baseboard, and give the baseboard a coat of the waterproofing as well. Then we will move over to the right and we'll be tiling that shower. Little by little, we are making progress on the bathrooms. And that is a really good thing because the weather has cleared up just a little, just for today. You can probably hear my kids in the background. I am taking them to the park. Spring is right around the corner. So this is it. This is the spring edition of the Old World Design Society. It is beautiful. You really need to become a member of the Old World Design Society. That's where you and I can hang out together a lot more in the private forum. The first class of this session is March 28th. I will be teaching a class on lamps and lampshades, helping you understand proportions, how to select lighting for your house, give it that really tailored designer look. So to become a member of the society, click this white circle right here. Be sure that you stick around on the channel, do all the things, like and subscribe, watch this video right here, and I will see you again very soon. A bientôt. Thank you.